All right, in this video, I'll answer the question, is Rivian a stock to buy right now? I'll use my simplified six-step framework for analysis, so let's get right into it. The first step in my framework considers customer value. And for Rivian, they offer high-end electric SUVs and trucks for, of course, higher income customers. And these are trucks priced at $70,000 and above. Uh, they've already, they also provide electric delivery trucks and they've already got an order from Amazon for a hundred thousand vehicles and they've got pre-orders of 91,000 for its R1 truck and SUV. It's still early days for the company so it's hard to determine what the customer value uh, perception is. Um, early uh, early indications point to a lot of buzz around the company, a lot of demand for their trucks and SUVs. They've got pretty cool design. The pre-orders suggest that they are getting some business in, but it's still early to determine the customer value perception in a meaningful way. The next step in my framework considers its unit economics. And similarly, they're in their early stages of development. They're generating massive losses on the bottom line while they're trying to ramp up production to achieve a scale that lowers its average production cost, the average cost per vehicle. Profitability is nowhere in sight. However, the premium prices of their cars right now, the initial out, out, uh, output of cars are for the premium prices. So that uh, suggests good prospects if you're selling cars at 70 80 90 thousand dollars it's easier to achieve achieve profitability compared to if you're trying to do it at 20 30 40 thousand dollars the company does have more than 15 billion dollars of cash on hand this should help it fund expansion plans and have enough cash on the balance sheet to weather the time it takes until it's free cash flow positive the next step in my framework looks at the total addressable market and according to Statista, there were 67 million cars sold worldwide in 2021. That's estimated to recover as to as high as 71 million in 2023 as supply chain shortages ease. The next step in my framework looks at competition and you can't talk about competition in electric vehicles without mentioning Tesla who has a significant head start, has already ramped up production significantly and has robust customer demand. Further, legacy car companies like Ford and General Motors are ramping up electric vehicle production after hesitating for more than a decade. And so there are several uh, lower priced options to electric vehicles and there are also higher priced options so there's competition everywhere both in the same price range the higher price range the lower price range and competition is only getting worse it's only accelerating for electric vehicles right now the next step in my framework looks at valuation and rivian's stock is expensive trading at a price to sales ratio of 42 41.88 now this is price to sales, not price to earnings. A price to earnings of 42 would not be considered cheap, but Rivian is selling at a price to sales of 42, which is exponentially more expensive than a price to earnings of 42. The final step in my framework looks at risks and several economic indicators are pointing to an upcoming recession. And of course, if people are losing their jobs, they're less likely to buy these premium priced vehicles. Secondly, supply chain disruptions are limiting Rivian's ability to ramp up production and are simultaneously raising costs for components. So a double-edged sword there for Rivian in terms of both growth in units sold and the cost per vehicle in production hitting its bottom line and so that's a major risk I note here. All right now that I've looked at each step in my framework let me give it a grade for each step. For Rivian in customer value I gave it a B even though it's in its early days and it's hard to discern the customer value proposition 
the indications point to good prospects in this regard because of all the pre-orders and the 100,000 pre-order from Amazon especially is a good indicator of the customer of the value of its vehicles. Unit economics, I gave them a C plus here. They're just so far behind in terms of reaching profitability. So many years to go for that. They're getting a C plus. They need to ramp up production significantly to get there. So for now, they're getting a C plus. Total addressable market, I gave them an A plus here. Uh, 70 million cars are sold every year, and that's only growing. And so they're and they're participating in a massive market a plus in that regard competition they get a c minus not only are they in a fiercely competitive arena with electric vehicles nearly all major automotive companies are ramping up production of electric vehicles but they're also a new car manufacturer so they don't have the experience of production they don't have the experience of competing effectively and so for that reason they get a c minus here and risks, they also get a C because of the near-term risk of the pandemic supply chains, rising costs, and massive losses on the bottom line. It's a risky company to invest in. And finally, valuation, they get a C- minus because the stock is, is expensive at a price-to-sales ratio of 42. I couldn't even use the price-to-earnings or price-to-free cash flow valuation methods because the company is producing negative free cash flows and negative earnings all right so before I go into the next slide which will answer the question if Rivian stock is a buy right now I'd like to take this moment to implore you to subscribe to my channel because this recommendation I'm going to give is not a static recommendation that recommendation is going to change over time as Rivian announces progress on its production as the stock price changes as it reports quarterly financial results which I will be providing updates for on my channel and so I can update you on if the recommendation changes so this recommendation I'm giving right now is for this moment in time next week next month next quarter that might change so that's why you're gonna to want to subscribe to find out those updates all right without further ado let's answer the question is Rivian stock a buy right now Rivian stock is not a buy right now the expensive valuation coupled with the riskiness and the early stages of growth in the company sway me to recommend this stock as not buying just yet. We, I would like to wait and see a few quarters, see its production process, see how it ramps up production, see where customer demand evolves over the next few quarters until I would recommend the stock to be a buy. All right, so thank you for watching and tune in next time for my next installment of Is This Stock a Buy? I want to thank The Motley Fool for sponsoring this video. The Motley Fool is a company that provides investing insight and stock recommendations for all investors of all skill sets and risk levels. So I'm proud to partner with The Motley Fool to bring you 10 stock picks from their popular product stock advisor stock advisor has beaten the market by more than three times go to fool.com slash parkev to get your 10 stock picks now